It is from this northern England port city of Liverpool where the legend that would become the Beatles began. The Mersey Sound, named after the river that runs through town, is characterized by multiple harmonies and lots of guitars. Fewer than half a million people live here, but more number one hits have come from performers from Liverpool than anywhere else in the world. 56 so far, according to the Guinness Book of Records. Billy Kinsley from the band The Mersey Beats used to play the famous Cavern Club alongside the Beatles. He says the merchant sailors and nearby American military bases imported the sounds that influenced them all. It was a combination of all these sounds that we had, different to all the bands in Britain, plus all these, well, the association, association with all these people from back and forth through America, bringing us all these great records that no one else in the country had. So that meant a, a great deal as well. But the seaport is all but dried up, and Liverpool is facing hard times. Luckily, the Beatles are a big industry here. A British government analysis shows Liverpool gets over $400 million a year from music tourism. From all around the world, they come to see where it all began. This is the place where 15-year-old Paul McCartney first met 17-year-old John Lennon. For seven years, Jay Johnson's been proudly showing his city and the Beatles' connections to visitors, but says without his city, the world would never have known hits like Penny Lane or Strawberry Fields. We have a saying here in Liverpool that it was Liverpool that made the Beatles and not vice versa. <laughs> but there's little doubt the band changed this city profoundly. It's clear from the moment you step off the plane to when you check into a hotel, this is Beatles territory. They may have traveled far and wide, conquered America, and changed the pop music landscape forever, but in this hardy northern England town, they are firstly four local lads who made good. Phil Edner, Al Jazeera, Liverpool.